From San Francisco and Dreamforce 2007, this is Peter Coffey, Director of Platform Research at Salesforce.com. And I'm here with James Ward, a technical evangelist with Adobe, as we wrap up Adobe Day here yep, at Dreamforce. Right. Yep, you were just in what I hear was a really exciting session with a lot of tremendous creativity yeah. taking place on the um, Flex platform. Can you tell us more about what developers are doing with Flex? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of really great things going on with Flex right now. We have everything from uh, word processors being built with Flex, a company called Buzzword, or a product called Buzzword by a company called Virtual Ubiquity. And we have a ton of new applications being built with Salesforce and Flex. Actually, 18 of the 32 incubators companies at the Salesforce offices in San Mateo are using Flex now to build their interfaces for their Salesforce applications. We like to talk about people being able to access their data from anywhere. You want to be able to talk about the developer being able to deliver a very well-defined user right. experience right. anywhere yep. and really being independent of issues of device, yep. client exactly. state, yep. and exactly. so on. What do developers need to understand about the genuine difference in the kind yeah. of control they can they offer uh, offer their, their yeah. users of the client experience now so the way that we like to look at it is that there's been a few transitions in computing and business applications over the last 20 years or so we went from the mainframe based applications where you had a very limited reach and a very limited uh, capability in your UI to the client server architectures where we had much more UI capability but still the, the reach was limited. We, it was hard to get the, these applications installed. They may not work everywhere on every device. And so then we went to web applications where we sacrificed the, the richness of the UI that we could get for the reach that we got with web applications. Mm -hmm. So the new, the new phase in applications is rich internet applications. Yeah. So this allows us to build business applications that are rich and have the reach of web applications. They run in the browser or with the upcoming Adobe Air product, they run on the desktop and uh, we can build really whatever we can dream up. When people talk about the idea of a persistent client that can function in a disconnected mode, some people seem to think that's a step back from the idea of on-demand, but I think yeah. you and I would both agree that the ease of deployment and yep. the ubiquitous access combined with yep. the ability to have disconnected operations is, just, is more of a, an extension it's of an what on-demand can provide. It's really an evolution because you know we all like to, to think that, yeah, someday everything will be done via the web, uh -huh. right? It's, it's everything will be done via the, via the internet. But mm -hmm. one of the partners that we have here today presenting their application they built with Flex, uh, the company's model metrics, they built a application for pharmaceutical sales reps, and they built it in air because if a, if a pharmaceutical sales rep goes into a doctor's office, they really aren't guaranteed that their 3G card is gonna even have access and they're right. gonna be able to get on the internet. So they need to be able to take all their Salesforce data Store that locally within the Air database. The local and, Air and database. And Air is an abbreviation for Adobe Integrated Runtime. Integrated Runtime. Yep, okay, that's so that's a runtime a, for a, 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 a runtime environment that that the developer knows is going to behave the same way, irrespective yep. of the client. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Fantastic. So now they can access this. The doctor can still access, or the the pharmaceutical rep can still access all the doctor's information. Can even interact with the data, create new records, say, uh, save a bunch of information about that visit to the doctor, and then when they get back to Starbucks where they have internet access again, they can then synchronize all that data back up to Salesforce.